Good morning y'all, y buenos dias. So today we are at my 20th week update video. So if you guys are interested in seeing the updates, then keep on watching. So now that we are at week 20, baby is the size of a banana, which Zach got really irritated the other day because I was like, the baby's the size of a banana. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, what do you mean? What do I mean? And he was like, all of these odd shapes, none of them are the shape of the baby. <laughs> And I was like, no, like the size, not like the shapes. And he was like, oh, or whatever. Because <laughs> he was like, we went from mango to banana to whatever. And <laughs> he was so confused. And I was like, no, they just mean like the approximate size of that fruit or vegetable. <laughs> So at week 20, baby is approximately 6.5 inches and around 10 ounces. So kind of wild, but at this point, the baby is also uh, drinking like several ounces of the amniotic fluid, which is so wild. Um, they do it like all throughout, but like at this point, it's like significant amount. I am currently 111 pounds. As far as mood, I've just been super excited because uh, my mom is here with my brother and sister, so we're all just kind of hanging out together, which is literally my favorite thing ever. Like whenever we're all together and we're eating and just hanging out, I mean like that's where I'm in my zone, basically. And so, <laughs> so funny last night we watched this documentary on penguins and we were just like crying laughing on the couch because they were so cute but yeah just been really happy and excited again with cravings this week i haven't been craving anything in particular i've been eating a whole lot of food just because we're all together and whenever we're all together that's like all we do is just eat and so just been downing arroz con frijoles and arroz curtido and sopa de frijoles and just everything <laughs> So my only symptom and like ache that I was having was obviously peeing a lot, but also um, just from the ride uh, here, we drove from Louisiana here, so my legs were hurting pretty bad just from sitting for that long. And then um, after that, like the next day, they were still hurting pretty bad, but I know that it was just from me sitting for so long. So sleep has been just divine because my mom has been letting me sleep in as soon as Luna wakes up uh, her and Jess will take her and just kind of hang out with her and stuff and I get to sleep in and the other day I slept until nine which is wild like it just feels so nice because sometimes um, like on the weekend Zach will do the same thing but this time we both got to sleep in which you know literally never happens so it's just so nice being cozy and just like both of us being able to sleep in at the same time it was awesome so yeah, as far as what we've been up to, we drove back from uh, Louisiana. The graduation was really fun and we went to dinner afterwards and we got to hang out and eat so, so much food in Houston. And the conference was really awesome with uh, uh, Decolonize Houston, which like I said, I mentioned it in my last video, I think, was that I'll be in Austin at the uh, Decolonize conference there and I'll be a speaker. So I'm kind of excited about that and I'll leave info on that down below. But the drive here was not as bad as I thought it would be. It was just long. It's always so long because it's like a 10 and a half hour drive, but it usually takes like 12 because you gotta take breaks and you gotta stretch and you gotta get gas and you know, all of that stuff. And so the ride is always pretty rough, but we made it. And like I said, we've just been hanging out and eating and um, we're going to celebrate Navidad in the next couple of days. And we're gonna go thrift shopping and just all kinds of fun stuff. And now for the bump. So it is definitely here, y'all. So that is it for today's video. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.